All right, well, we're back working on this 353. You can see it's all painted up. Uh, before I got too far into it, you see I, I'm digging into the governor here. I, uh, I figured I should record this, answer some of y'all's questions about running the rack, setting one of these up from scratch. So what I got here is we're going to start by setting the governor gap. I haven't run this engine, so we're just going to assume this is the idle setting. And we're going to set the gap as though the engine, as though the governor is off the engine. So like how it would be done at the factory. So to do that, we have these tools here. There's a 0.170 inline. You can see I marked it inline. And then there's a 200. So your inline, or I'm sorry, the 170 inline is for inline engines. And then the 200 here, you can see it in the kit, is for V engines. So, how this works is, let me see if I can get you an angle here. Let's set up, we're going to set you right on the valve cover here. And I think, I think you should be able to see that all right. You know what? I'm gonna put the I'll put the lift down a little. Try to get you zoomed in. How's that for zoom, eh? Alright. So now how this works is this tool inserts. I can I can show you this. I don't need two hands for this. So this tool inserts here and it's 170 is the thickness of this. That's what that 170 means. So you're setting your gap essentially to 170. Now you can see this is very hard to push in. Does not want to go in there easily. There you go. Now it's clicked in. But it should be easier than that. And you can see the whole thing move when I do that. So that means that the setting is not right. So we're going to pop that off of there. It's a 7 16th and a 3 8 knot. Or, you know, uh, vice versa. It's a 7 16th knot and a 3 8 screw. So, if you can, you loosen. They're kind of super pain in the ass, these things. And then we're going to back our setting off. Until you get just a slight drag in this. And if you have an option, uh, you're better off with a loose governor setting as opposed to a tight one. Let me get let me get the special wrench for this because this does not fit in there very well. There, there are special wrenches in this kit. I'll show you. Um, that's what these goofy special wrenches are for in this kit is for these doing this governor adjustment because they're uh these goddamn nuts are so thin all right so now we're locked in and that's perfect so that's where we're going to go with it. So now, once our gap is set, now we can set our cover back on. And you always want to make sure when you set the cover on that you get the tang in the fork down there. See that? And it'll there'll be resistance on it, and your rack will move when you get it right. Um, so now what we're going to do is we have our gap set correctly. So now what we do is we back off all of our other settings um we're gonna back off our idle adjustment and we're gonna back off our uh buffer screw and then we're gonna lock this at full throttle and set our rack so to back off your throttle 
on a 53 in line in his back here. I've already loosened the lock nut, but so I try to just leave the lock nut where the idle was. And it doesn't, you back this like, they say like three quarters of the way out so that an inch of threads are showing on it. Um, you'll feel it though, it'll it'll lose all the tension because that, that's what puts pressure on your low speed spring for your idle. So you'll lose all the tension on that and then you'll notice your rack doesn't, doesn't go back to full fuel like it's supposed to when that's loose. Um, and then we'll do the, these are 9 16 I believe. At least they are in the 92s. Um, the fucking shop is a disaster, boys. <sighs> yeah. So usually the lock nut spins the whole deal, and you could just take that. I do the same thing. I back that bitch way out. So it's like, you know, there's absolutely nothing holding it in place, really. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to lock our throttle. I like to get, I get vice grips, put a real long set of vice grips on there. And then usually what I do is I ratchet strap, not ratchet strap, but bungee cord them to something else. Um, so that it's easy to... I, I don't have to be, I don't have to manually hold it when I do the adjustment. I think that since this is such a small engine, I, I'll just, I'll put the vice grips on it. And the further out your vice grips are, the better your feel is going to be for how tight your rack setting is. And what I mean by that is, I'll, I'll show you in a minute um, when, when we're actually doing it. So, uh, hang tight. All right, we're back. I loosened this up and spun it around so you can see our rack works now. Um, I'm just going to have to hold that, I guess. Um, so now what we'll do, oh, uh, before I forget, um, when you do your governor gap, um, you want it ideally as close to the book setting as you can get it. Um, but if you're, it's better to be a little loose than a little tight, uh, a little loose is going to allow the motor to not over rev, but it won't be, you're more apt to have full rack than you are if you, uh, make it too tight. A tight, a tight rack will affect power. All right, so our injector nuts are backed off. We go full fuel. And then what you always want to do, let's see. Start. You always want to start with the one closest to your deal here, which is this one. Back your screws off as much as you can. What you don't want is one of the other injectors to affect your setting, right? So then you hold it. Oh, you guys are going to see me, so can you hold it? You hold it here, full throttle, and then you run in your screw. And then you'll see that finger. You'll see that finger start to move in. Let me see if I can get you here. It's a better spot. It's gonna be real hard to get you to be able to see that finger. That's that's what, what my goal is, and it's not an easy goal to accomplish. Um, should be able to see that finger now so watch that finger there see when you back off your screw comes out so you want to go in it 
until it gets tight and then it see it'll like it'll twist when it gets all the way bottomed out And then as you go more, like you'll feel it, as you go more, you put the rack in a bind, you'll feel your vice grip start to pull back on this lever and, and you don't want that. So then once you got that injector where you want it, you kind of snug these two screws up. And it's very fiddly. Right there's where I want that one. So then you snug that like that. And then you alternate the tightening until they're both tight. Okay. And then the most critical part about this entire thing and how you know you're at full fuel is uh, that finger, when you're, when you're holding at full throttle, which I am now, should bounce you see that bounce and you'll feel it in the screwdriver you could probably hear it spring back that is how that's supposed to be and the trick to setting these racks is to balance is to make all those spring like that equally all the way down the motor so you always start where your governor connects and work your way down and as you do this next one you have to be careful because if you tighten that screw too much it'll back off this setting throwing this injector out of full fuel so you have to go you have to you just I, I, i'm telling you when you first do one of these i think i did i think i did this i must have done this 10 times before i got the feel of exactly what i was doing the very first time i did one and once you know how to do it it gets easier and easier and easier every time until you'll be able to do it in your sleep so next we'll move to this injector and we'll see if we can do this on camera here. It's not a lot of fun to do on camera. Okay. Yeah, you should be able to see me. So same deal, you're gonna hold it full throttle and you're gonna spin your, your line, your screw in and you'll feel it and you gotta be real gentle with this one. And it's just an art, it's, it's like an art to balance these things. It's all feel. Okay. And it doesn't help when these screws are a little, they're 40 years old, so they got a little booger to them. And these don't have to be super duper tight either. They're not gonna loosen up. All right, so now, now we fucked this up. Bingo, that's where that needs to be, right there. And the tricky bit is feeling out where that other screw needs to be to where you're not backing off that, but you're holding your adjustment. Fuck you. And 
Okay, so I still have spring on my number one. I can't really tell. See how that one's loose though? So we put too much pressure on the screw, the locking screw, and it backed off our setting a touch. So sometimes you can get these to come back. Yeah, like right there. And then just retighten based on your new. It's uh, it's very fiddly, and these these two screw racks. That's pretty good right there. Perfect. These two screw racks are are a totally different feel than the newer style, like on a 453T, where it has one screw and an and a lock nut. Um, the the lock nut is easier to to for a beginner to get used to, I think. But if you want to practice and you want to get good at doing this. Do it on the two screw. Do it as long as it takes for you to get good at it. Um, because it's 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 something nobody can teach you anymore. No nobody really. There, there's very few guys left that know how to set these up right. And knowledge sharing isn't. It's just not prevalent. Uh, so now you set your third injector. And when you set your third one, you go back and you make sure you don't back off that one or this one. It's super fiddly. Um, but just do it. Trust me, it can be done. Just do it until you get it right. And it doesn't matter how long it takes, but that's how you do it. That's how you tune up a Detroit. That's all there is to it. Uh, set You set your uh, valve lash. 53s are 26 thou, 7192 are 16, uh, and that's a 16 or and a 26 go no go. Your injector, I'm pretty sure we're gonna set these to 1460. I'll check the book uh, to double check. I don't even know what injector these are actually. I actually never looked. N40, ugh, we need more HPs than that. Well, maybe she'll get injectors in the near future here. Um, but anyway, that's how you do that. I'm gonna leave you guys with that. I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to do that. I'll probably put this, this will be in the uh, low video probably too, um, which you guys are watching right now. But I'll probably put this up as a separate video also, just as a, as a quick, you know, how-to. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. I hope you learned something. Hopefully that helps you somewhere along the way. I know my injector free and video was super helpful to a lot of people. I've got really good feedback about that. And I've been asked to do this kind of thing like a billion times. So we're long overdue. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're enjoying this video. And, uh... Stay tuned.